Hello, hello. Welcome to Hippo Dad. In this week's episode, I'm doing something a bit different. I've been a little hard on Generation Z lately. Between not caring about voting, having beach parties during a pandemic, and licking toilet seats on the internet, I've had a lot of ammo for giving the emerging generation the business. Yeah, you guys aren't perfect, but I don't want to become that grouchy old man that screams at kids to get off his lawn. So I'm going to make an active effort to understand and engage the younger generation. So, I downloaded TikTok. Anyway, for those that don't know, TikTok is a relatively new video streaming service designed to allow users to share small video clips, usually under a minute in length. The app has over 800 million users, with over 40% being between the ages of 16 and 24. Hopefully I'll be able to use my experience with TikTok to help me better understand the younger generation. Hell yeah man, this is a good idea. Anyway, let's start with the first video. Uh, 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 uh. He's going into shock. Uh, uh, Cut the goddamned cameras. Uh, 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 Call a doctor. Uh, uh, He's going to bite his tongue. Uh, Wuhan! Wuhan! Put a spoon in his mouth. Hey guys, I'm fine now. The doctor came by and sedated me. I feel awesome. Alexa, did did you hear? The doctor said he was impressed with my big dick energy. He said you had the blood pressure of a 75-year-old football coach. He said your heart is a ticking time bomb. Big dick energy. That house call cost you $65,000. Shit. What happened again? Oh yeah. Kid, what the fuck? Good choice of a song. Nothing quite says badass monster quite like Christian rock band Skillet. I feel it deep within, just beneath the skin. Hate to tell you man, but that sounds kind of like the onset of type 2 diabetes. I'd get a daughter to look into that if you can manage to talk your parents into paying for it with a second mortgage. Also, what the hell was with all that madness at the end? Was that some kind of weird filter or did his acid reflux disease cause him to vomit a whole bag of flaming hot Cheetos? Whatever, let's press on. Y'all hear that sound? It's a ratchet. See all this shit on my face? It's not dirt, it's not grease. It's a mechanic's war paint. We're the ones you call when your boyfriend can't bust a nut. Ooh, a clever play on words. It appears we have a man of culture. There you go, ladies. Kyle seems like a great catch. He works on cars. He can come. What more do you need? Quick question. If all those black spots on your face is mechanic's war paint, then what the hell is that on your chin? I hope that's not supposed to be a beard. It looks like you covered your chin in Chia Pet Seeds. Ch -ch -ch -chia. And is that supposed to be a mustache? He should have saved some of those Chia Seeds for his upper lip. His 7th grade teacher is just going to make him shave it off. Right? I'm surprised his dad didn't bust in and whoop his ass for playing with his big boy tools. Moving right along. Bitch, I'm a 10. You a motherfucking 4. Only thing you want to do is mess around with hoes. Only thing I do is bit cook and clean. What the fuck you do is mess around with hoes, bitch. You are Alexa, is this a TikTok video or is this a PSA warning about the dangers of fetal alcohol syndrome? I'm pretty sure it's both. God damn. I guess they finally got internet access in rural Alabama. I think we might need to contact the police about this video. Um, why? Because she clearly dug up the juice man and stole his dragon eyebrows. Grave robbing is a felony. She's really nailing that pie may but brain damage look. She called herself a 10, but I'm pretty sure that's just her vocabulary limit. Only thing you want to do is mess around with hoes. Only thing I do is bit cook and clean. In these short 15 seconds, she manages to shame other women while boasting about her own ability to cook and clean. I don't want to speak for all feminists, but I'm pretty sure this isn't what Susan B. Anthony would have wanted. Watching this clip was like watching the clock turn back on 100 years of women's progress and roughly 1 million years of human evolution. Alexa, call the local zoo and tell them Homo Erectus over here figured out how to use a smartphone. Maybe they can teach her sign language. Yeah, and then maybe they can help her mow those eyebrows. While I'm so deep in you, right before you bust, I'm going to stop and whisper in your ear, don't you dare, baby doll. 
Holy shit, I thought only kids use this app. Jesus Christ, TikTok should cross-check whether or not new users are on the sex offenders registry for letting them post. And what the hell was up with that music? I'm going to stop and whisper in your ear. I can't tell if this is a real person or a sleep paralysis demon. Someone needs to check under this dude's house. This guy's like one part Maui and two parts Amber Alert. This is a troubling turn of events. I wasn't aware middle-aged men were using this app for weird sex things. Hopefully TikTok has this under control. Alexa, does TikTok have this situation under control? Hell fucking no. Oh, uh, you cute little oo-woo girl. I would survive the virus with you, oo-woo. Oh, hell no. What the fuck does Chunky Fred Flanders think he's doing? You weird ass piece of shit. That's a child. Seriously, what the hell? How is this allowed? His name is Stepping Now. He was recently banned for his predatory behavior. Banned? That isn't gonna do shit. This guy needs to be cast into a volcano and sealed away by ancient druids. He probably had a fast pass on Jeffrey Epstein's underage sex island. What the hell is Google and the NSA doing? They can track everything we say and spy on us with our cameras, but they can't be bothered to stop dipshits from thirsting on middle schoolers? Alexa, send this clip to Chris Hansen. Maybe he can dropkick this asshole before he shows up at Comic-Con and starts abducting preteens. And why do you guys keep showing me these middle-aged men? I'm supposed to be learning about Generation Z. We're trying to show you that every age group has problematic individuals. You keep cherry picking bad people and using them as an excuse to generalize an entire generation. You claimed that you wanted to do this project to empathize with youth culture, but you've just been using it as an excuse to roast them. Don't tell me that surprises you. Don't you remember how much it sucked when the boomers labeled your generation as lazy and entitled? They aren't the ones that had to enter the job market during a global recession. Wow. It seems like it's hard to be young when it feels like the world is falling apart. You're damn right! I... Well, shit. I guess... Maybe I should cut them some slack. These are indeed dark times. Maybe we aren't so different. Maybe it's not too late to find some common ground. Alright, no more fucking around. Hit me with a TikTok that will help me extend an olive branch and close this gap once and for all. So guys, I've been like going through something and I've been trying to like keep it off of social media because obviously this is like a really toxic environment and it's not going to make things any easier. <laughs> but like I can't stop crying. Oh, man, she seems really hurt. I know things are kind of scary right now, but we've gotten through worse. We're all sharing this terrible experience together. And when it's all over, we'll all be stronger because you didn't watch the whole clip. What? I can't stop crying because I'm rich, I'm hot, and I have a fat pussy. <laughs> God damn it, I got trolled. You were fucking in on this, weren't you? Haha, ha. eat shit. You look like an idiot. Mm, whatever. This girl sucks. Nobody gives a shit how rich you are or how fat your cat is. She wasn't talking about her cat. What? Oh, ew. Fucking gross. She needs to be careful crying wolf like that. A horny James Franco can smell a distressed woman from over seven miles away, and he sure as hell won't care if you're joking or not. James Franco is literally going to kill you one day. I highly doubt it. His eyesight is similar to that of a T-Rex. He doesn't track males, and he typically ignores anyone over 17. So he's like a velociraptor? Exactly. Anyway, back to Dollar Store Paris Hilton. Lady, you need to be careful about what you post on social media. Anything that goes online can haunt... Wait, that's the fucking girl that licked the toilet seat. No way. Yeah, yeah, play the clip. Holy shit, it totally is. No wonder she's covering her mouth. She's trying to hide the herpes she got from licking that toilet. She seems to have fundamentally misunderstood what it means to go viral. Apparently, she was on Dr. Phil recently. No shit, can we get a clip? Do you have any concern that you put more older people at risk? No. I wouldn't be surprised if you're part of the Illuminati or whatever gov government officials are pushing this virus. Um, you're calling me selfish, but like, you are the ones who are concerned because you're concerned about yourselves because you're the ones who can die. If you Don't infect think. one person that loses their life, is it worth it for you to have this attention? Yeah. I'm hearing you talk and you're like, oh, you're going to kill somebody? Like, you know what? Like, I'll pull up and I'll cough on you. Oh, it makes sense now. She's retarded. At this point, I'm just impressed she made it this long without choking on a Tide Pod. 
To be fair, Ava here does make a compelling case for extending the time frame for late-term abortions to 18 years old. I'm surprised her mom didn't try to bust into a room and attack her with a coat hanger. Well, this little experiment didn't really accomplish anything. I would put my faith in the generation after Z, but considering most of these kids grew up watching Spider-Man chase Elsa on YouTube, I'm not going to hold my breath. I guess the cycle is unbreakable and we're doomed to attack each other until the planet bursts into flames and kills everyone. That's all for Hippo Dad this week. I want to give a quick shout out to my YouTube buddy, Banter Boulevard. I got this idea from watching a few of his videos, so if you like this one, then be sure to check out his channel. I put a link to his channel in the description. I'm probably going to do some kind of collaboration thing with him in the coming weeks, so keep an eye out for that. Be sure to subscribe to the channel hit that little notification bell. I'm still working on my goal of getting 100 subscribers, so hitting that button if you haven't already would be a big help. I try to get a new video out at least once a week, so subscribing to the channel is the best way to make sure you never miss an episode. Feel free to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear everyone's opinions on the other generations. For any of the Gen Zers watching this, try not to take this video too seriously. I know most of you guys aren't licking toilet seats and shit. Feel free to vent your complaints about everyone else in the comments. Well, until next week. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to click the icon on the right to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave a comment below. Click on the TV to continue watching more Hippo Dad. Till next time.